In part 2 of the Setting Column Values tutorial, I will show you how to use columns from other sheets. I begin with a sample project that comes with Origin in the Samples Data Manipulation folder. I have a workbook with two sheets, and the first thing I'm going to do is actually create a third sheet to then fill those columns with data. I right-click on the sample sheet and choose Duplicate without data. I now want to rename this sheet as Corrected Sample, so double-click and modify the name. So to fill each of these three columns with data, I'm going to highlight the first column, right-click, and go to Set Column Values. I want to click on the Variables menu and choose Insert Range Variable. This brings up the Range Browser dialog in which I can pick a different book and a different worksheet. So I need to modify this from In Current Sheet to show me all the columns in the current book. So I actually want to assign this column to the values in the time column from the sample worksheet. So I highlight that, click Add, OK, and it will automatically appear as a range variable in the Before Formula Scripts panel. I'm going to rename the variable, give it something more descriptive. Now I can then assign the values that this range variable points to to my current column, column A. So I just type our time here and click Apply. Now this column should have the same values as in the time column from the sample worksheet. All right, let's fill these two columns now. Again, I want to select Variables, Insert Range Variable. I'm going to sort by long name. And I want to insert the transducer 1 from both the reference and the sample worksheets. Let me again give them more descriptive names. And then using these range variables that point to columns in the reference and sample worksheets, I'm going to enter the following expression. The one in square brackets refers to the first cell of that column. When I click Apply, the data is generated for that second column. Let me show you how to make this formula more general so that I can save it and reload it to use in the next column in the worksheet. So I'm going to edit these range variables. I want to replace the name so it's not hard-coded. I'm going to click on the f of x menu, go down to variables and constants, and choose w call this call num. This then refers to 2 in this case. It's an index. Remember the w call function takes an index, so it's the second column. And let's repeat that for the sample. So now we're referencing by index. And if I hit apply, you should see the values in that column won't change. But I can now reuse this formula in my third column. I'm going to save the formula by clicking on Formula Save. Enter some name. I'm going to then go to the next column and I can then load this formula and apply it. In this case, it will refer to column 3 in both the reference and sample worksheets. 
and the data will be generated when I click Apply. This concludes this part of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.